uh, health financing is a project is a, an activity which is done in Tanzania in order to improve universal to reach health, universal health coverage so there are many uh, examples but in this project which we have started we have developed a new structure which is better than the old structure which was there and we've already put it in place for seven districts with, with a total of um, for two million people, we are trying to make them all joined. We are training. We are changing the the old system into an insurance system, and we up to now we have already registered something like eight percent of these people. Then we also have developed an information and management insurance system, and this tool makes it easy and very cheap. To, to enroll people to know their problems and their complaints and also to be able to identify them when they come to the hospital. And therefore, this is already established in, the ho in the ho all these six districts, in all hospital, public hospitals in those areas. So that's one, health, uh, health financing. We have also got, we have, we have got very good collaboration between ourselves with the districts because we don't we don't implement we bring in ideas we discuss with the districts and when the districts accept they participate we 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 we, we just become like um, advisors and so on so this one the second is the medicine supply and management here we did the component did the studies to find out what are the hitches in medicine supply. When we started this project, uh, the availability of medicines in the hospitals was 50 to 53 percent. By after study, conducting studies on quantification of medicine, we were able to identify some problems and developed packages of what, how to deal with them. We have got two packages which we have developed. One of them is we developed a system of auditing. Auditing, abrupt and uh, regular auditing. By applying this uh, package, the availability of medicines in those areas where they've applied it has gone up from availability of 53% to 85%, which means the, the money which was being given by the government was, was adequate for 85 percent, although the availability was only 53. So we have strengthened the system. And then secondly now, we are in the process of com concluding what we call prime vendor system. That is joint procurement, joint, uh, joint procurement of, of, of drugs. What we do with the prime vendor system is that there will be a, a collective tendering choose one person for the whole region who will supply drugs and then each individual district will procure the drugs. We think by this way the districts will get medicine in good time at the, with, at the right price and of the right quality. So, so this is the second one. The third one is the health technology and, man, and, and management which is basically dealing with how to to maintain how to use equipments in the hospital. In our country, there are many equipments. This um, uh, aspect has, has been ignored. And if you go to many, when we were working in the districts, we found that there are many places where, in hospitals, where there were piles of equipment which were considered to be obsolete. But by training people, the districts gave us people to train. They are paying the people. We are training them. After training them, we jointly, that is partly being financed by the district, partly being financed by the project, we are able to set up the workshops. And uh, some results have been shown. Uh, one area, uh, there were equipments which were worth Tanzanian shillings 34 million, and they were told they were obsolete. But by using these experts whom we have trained for four weeks, 
the, these equipments were, only, were, were maintained and came to work for only 10,000. You can see the difference. It's so big. It's, so we are now strengthening this and we are in the second phase whereby we are looking on how we can have a regional referral workshop whereby those equipments which are more sophisticated because what we have done up to now is only to develop the, the artisan level but we want to have people who are more competent at the regional level whereby if people, those artisans whom we trained at the district level fail to maintain something they can refer it to the, to the regional level and it can be done. So that is what we are doing in health technology. Um, we are also um, trying to get uh, uh, best ways of getting spare parts because this is another problem. The last is health promotion, you know. It's, you can, you, even if you have got medicine, adequate medicine, if you've got money, as long as you don't make people live health living, you will have more people who are sick. So in order to reduce people who are sick, in order to avoid the unnecessary diseases, the health promotion component has been introduced. We are differing from the health education pro component which was there in the sense that health promotion uh, deals with promoting health in the society. So in this one, we have managed to make 200 villages de develop pro uh, projects which they will, they will implement with their money and the districts will also put in money and the central government will put money and we shall put money. So it's a collaborative approach, adventure, and it will hope it will work. And it is starting to give very, very good results.